Hey fellas, I was looking at my Discord and a lot of you were asking, Hey Shinjin, how do you play Mordekaiser? Well, I'm here to teach you all how to play Mordekaiser and why he's the greatest champion you can ever play. So first things first, let's go look up Mordekaiser's stats because this champion is doing so well lately, I want to go look at what all the pros are doing with him, you know? What items people are building with him lately? So let's go look, uh, let's go find Mord. And uh, yeah, there he is, right down here on the 37th highest pick top laner. As a juggernaut, Mordekaiser is a slow melee champion who uses his high health and armor in order to bully out the other champions as a sort of brick wall. Oh, wait, those are actually Lalaya's uh, base stats. Uh, let's show you Mordkaiser's base stats. That's right. As a juggernaut, Mordkaiser is almost as tanky as uh, Lalaya. Alright, did you guys know that the average movement speed for a melee champion is 345? Mord has 335. That's because Mordekaiser has a speed boost on his passive. And if we activate it right now, you're gonna see just how speedy he gets with that passive. He gets the... I... That's okay guys, I went and I bought boots, because I remember that the 3% movement speed actually applies to your boot movement speed as well. So an average melee champion would have a movement speed of 390. I have 380, and that's because with my passive, I'm gonna get a lot more movement speed than your average mainly champion. Coming out. That means that Mord gets. Um. Oh, what is the math behind this? Um. How much more movement speed does he get? Oh, let me think. At least you keep that bonus movement speed for an extremely long period of time, enabling you to catch people who would get just outside your grasp. A long period of time. Definitely won't fall off. Although his base movement speed might suck, and his movement speed, even with this passive, might also suck, Mordkaiser gets lots of movement speed items that enable him to make up for that lack of movement speed including, uh, well, okay, he, um, well, uh, um, oh, uh, oh boy. This champion is so dumb, I'm running out of material, and I haven't even started, I don't really know how to make a joke about this champion, because he's so fucking basic. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna teach you all some Mordekaiser combos. Okay, the first one is when you auto-attack, and then you auto-attack, and then you auto-attack, and that's gonna proc your passive, and that's, uh, that's an important combo. You're gonna need to know this in order to win your trades. The second combo is when you try to Q and you miss, and you try to E, and you miss, so you auto attack, and then you auto attack, and then you auto attack, and that's gonna proc your passive so you can win the trades. Also, at some point you're gonna wanna press uh, W. That'll give you a shield. Then you're done. Uh, that's it, you're a Mordekaiser master now. Okay guys, I was sitting here and I was about to finish this video. I had one more bit I wanted to do. I wanted to add one more joke. This was just gonna be a quick little funny video. And I got to one part and I couldn't stop laughing. And you guys are gonna you guys are gonna sit here and you're gonna laugh with me on this one because this one was so dumb. So I wanna do a bit comparing sets uh win rates versus gameplay to Mordekaiser's, right? And I was gonna compare more champions and set. And I looked at Mord's win rate by ranked games play, and I said to myself, 10 games to about max him out. Yeah, that seems about right. 10 games of Mord, maybe you increase in skill to the 20, but I thought to myself, that that feels about right. 10 to max him out. And I thought, I bet you other champions like Set and Garen will take about the same amount, correct? So I went and I'll, I'll blow up these numbers in editing so you guys can see it. So here is uh, Mord Kaiser's. You can see 10 to about max it out. Then I went over to Set and I saw Set has a ginormous increase until about 20 games played. Now, you can 
some of this some of these numbers obviously don't add up properly and that's just because you know they don't have huge data on this but generally speaking yes we see an increase in set a sizable increase until 20 games played I, I I was I was I was mind blown when I was looking at this because I I I knew that Mordkaiser's rework was a bit less skill expressive than it should have been that it was kind of not exactly the greatest rework of all time but when I was looking at this I was shocked by how there was just basically no skill that goes into Mord. Now I'm sorry if you're a Mord main, you're probably you're probably actually annoyed with this uh, too that the champion is basically no skill expression. His Q is difficult to miss. His E is extremely hard to hit, but you have no tools to try to make it hit. So there's not much more you can do than another player by just hoping for the best, using it at a good time, I guess. Which you know that, that's good, but that's not exactly mind blowing, right? What was I saying? And then when you look into uh, his his W, his W doesn't go on cooldown until it breaks. So there's no, you can't use his W better or worse until maybe level 18 with a lot of cooldown reduction when you max it out. So realistically, Mord Kaiser is one of the simplest goddamn champions in the game. In fact, look, just seriously, look at these win rates by ranked games played. You can still even see with set that when you play a lot, the win rate goes up substantially. There are tricks, there's things you can do with set. Mord Kaiser is a dead ass fucking line. Other than a statistical anomaly at 80 games played, it's a line. You play 10 games and that's it. You have learned everything there is with this champion. That's horrifying in a way. That's horrifying that a rework that came out this late into the game's existence is that bad. That's terrible. That's awful. How can that happen? Riot, I ask you seriously, what the fuck happened here? Because honestly, so on okay so so last note here last note riot really needs to look into this champion i can joke all i want but riot really needs to look into this champion and add some skill expression something okay they need to do something to help this champion into actually having some skill expression mechanics something he can do something that you as a player can do differently than another mordekaiser player in order to help the champion win because this this is a goddamn dead ass line. That is horrifying. I don't think there's basically any other champion like that. So yeah, let's let's maybe add some skill expression. That's okay. If you ever find yourself buying Mord Kaiser and trying to win games with him, I actually have a really good solution to your problem. What you're gonna do is you're gonna Google a Mord Kaiser how to refund anyway thank you all for liking thank you all for subscribing thank you all for being here thank you all for everything thank you all for watching make sure to join my patreon the link is in the description i have to remember to say that thank you to all my patreon supporters i appreciate you all thank you all for being here thank you all for continuing to support videos like these thank you everybody and have a great rest of your day